Okay, the lesson for tonight is 9-3 arithmetic sums, or excuse me, arithmetic sequences. So, take good notes. Uh, you can take up the notes in class or check them for your homework grade tomorrow as well as the homework. Okay, so here is your vocabulary for today. Um, a few things that I want you to see. A few, four words here. Sequence in terms of a sequence, okay? So when a sequence is just a list of numbers that often form a pattern, that could be like two, four, six, eight, dot, 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 going on forever, okay? An element, a term of a sequence is just any one of those specific terms. So the terms of that sequence would be two, it could be six, okay? Any of the terms, any of the specific terms in the sequence above, okay? Pretty simple, all right? Next two... Uh, vocabulary words is uh, arithmetic sequence and common difference, okay? And that's what we're going to be doing today. Um, an arithmetic sequence uh, there is a sequence that adds common difference every time. So a common difference is just a common number. So like the sequence 2, 4, 6, 8, if you look at it closely, it adds the number 2 between each term. So as long as that number is consistent, then we say that it is an arithmetic sequence. Okay? If, for example, it did this, if it's like 1, 6, and then 20, and then 100, that does not add consistent terms. It adds 5, it adds 14. So this would not be um, this would not be an arithmetic sequence, okay? It would be a sequence, but not an arithmetic sequence, okay? The common difference, again, is just the number that's added every time. So it would be two for this sequence above. Okay, uh, so this one just says determine whether each sequence appears to be arithmetic or not. Um, if so, find the common difference. Uh, we, the common difference, we say, is D and the next three terms in the sequence. So the very first thing we do is we find the difference between the terms. This one is subtracting 4, subtracting 4, subtracting 4. So it's subtracting 4 every time. So we say D is negative 4. So it's adding negative 4 every time. Every time. So the next three terms in the sequence, I would just continue to carry out the sequence and figure out what the next three terms would be. So for this sequence, they would be negative 4, 0 minus 4, negative 8, and negative 12, okay? The next sequence, I look at the difference. What's the difference here? Adding 3, adding 5, adding, uh, what is that adding? That is adding 7. So that one is not a common, that's not an arithmetic sequence, okay? So I would just say no, it's not arithmetic, okay? It's actually quadratic. It's squaring uh, successive terms each time. Okay, <clears throat> this is very important. This formula to the right is called uh, the explicit formula. Okay, you'll see that a lot. The explicit formula, and what this is, is that formula right there. Okay, I'll write it bigger so you can see it. A n equals A1 plus n minus 1 times D. Okay, where D, you can see that D is the common difference. A1 is the first term, right? And then this, this letter N is just the number term, and that's what will change each time, okay? So this is what we're going to be doing in class, find, finding the nth term, okay? So this first problem says find the indicated term of each arithmetic sequence. So this wants us to find the 22nd term of the sequence that starts by going 5, 2, negative 1, negative 4. So we need two things. I need to know D, that's the common difference, and I need to know A1, that's the first term. I know A1 is the first term, it's 5, okay? That's already given to me. And I know that D, the common difference, what's it going down by every time? It's subtracting 3. So all I need to do is fill into this formula right here. I need to fill in for D and A1. So my formula, my explicit formula, would be this. A N equals 5 plus n minus 1 times times negative 3, okay? And that's multiply, okay? Now, to find the 22nd term, to find the 22nd term, I'm going to do this. A 
n in this case is 22 okay now what this means is just that it's the 22nd term and, and here I'll do 5 plus 22 minus 1 times negative 3 and then I just work the right side out so this would be 21 times negative 3 I would do 5 plus negative 63 here and that would be equal to um, sorry uh, negative 58 so negative 58 would be the 22nd term for the sequence. So we would say A sub 22 is negative 58. And what that means is that the 22nd term is negative 58. Okay? Um, here's two problems at the bottom that I want you to try. Okay? Um, we'll do one of them right now. Okay? So the 60th term, let's find the 60th term of this sequence to the right. So again, I need two things every time. D and A1. A1 is clearly 11, that's the first term, right? And the common difference is negative 6, because I can see that it's going down 6 every time, subtracting 6 every time. So my recurse, or excuse me, explicit formula is AN equals 11 plus N minus 1 times negative 6, okay? And then all I do to find out the whatever term is I plug in for N, whatever I'm looking for. I'm looking for the 60th term. So I'll say A60 equals 11 plus 60 minus 1 times negative 6. Okay? And then I work that out. 59 times negative 6 plus 11 is negative 343. So I get A sub 60 is negative 343. Okay? So Quickly, if we did this one, I would say that the recursive formula is a n, or excuse me, explicit formula is this, 4.2 uh, plus n minus 1 times 1.4. And then if I'm trying to find the, what, the 12th term, I do a 12 equals 4.2 plus 12 minus 1 times 1.4. And then I work that out. And I will get... Um, 19.6. So I get A12 equals 19.6. Okay? Uh, a couple more examples quickly. Okay? This is very important. This is what we, we call the recursive formula. Okay? You're going to have two formulas, recursive and explicit. This right here is the recursive. Okay? And it's used to find, it's not as useful, okay? Not as important, but it's still. You need to know it. So a n, it says this, a n equals a n minus 1 plus d, okay? So if we were, these are called subscripts, okay? They're below the letters, and they don't, they're not a math thing, they're an identification thing. You want to identify, let's say you're doing the eighth term, you'd say a 8, that means the eighth term, then here it would be 8 minus 1, and that's 7 plus d, okay? Now all that means is the term before it, plus the common difference is going to equal the term that you're looking at, okay? We will talk more about the recursive formula in class, okay? Um, this last example is a travel application or just an application problem for you to look at, okay? And it's talking about an odometer on a car, the miles that you've driven. It says every day the car is driven 54 miles. If this pattern continues, what is the odometer reading after day 20? Take a second, pause it, try to answer this problem and figure out what the odometer reading is going to be right now. Go. Okay, so hopefully you pause it right there, and this is the answer that you should have gotten. This is the formula. This is the first term, clearly. That's the first term or where you start. This is D, the common difference every day, and it's saying after 20 days, right, on day 20, so you put in 20 for N, and then you work it out. You should get 61,000. 499 miles, okay? And you need to understand that and be able to apply that to um, the problems, application problems.